What is up guys, John here and welcome back to another Destiny video. Today's Tuesday, sometime after the weekly refresh, there was a hotfix that went live that adjusted the drop table or loot table for the nightfalls and I just want to make it a quick video just to show what I ended up getting and uh, towards the end I'm going to end up showing uh, some engrams that I'm decoding, exotic and legendaries. So far the first reward I ended up getting a 296 vertigo rocket launcher and much ended up getting a sidearm at 305 which is good infusion fuel. For the next nightfall I ended up getting a 306 ghost. Not too bad but again this really served no purpose for me because I already have a 310 raid ghost, the King Slayer shell. And then Rhythm ended up getting a 291 Byr Byronic hero I think it's pronounced. But eh, it's pretty useless. Uh, just probably break it down for some marks. And moving on to the third and final nightfall of the week. I was awarded with a Zalo Supercell at 310. And Rhythm was awarded with Bog Wild Gauntlets for the Hunter at 307. These are really good drops, especially that 310 Zalo Supercell that will replace my 304 that I've been leveling up. And uh, I don't think those 307s really served him any purpose as he probably already had 310 Gauntlets. And moving along to the Crucible Bounties for the week for Shacks, I ended up finishing all of them. As you can see, I'm just going to go ahead and turn all of these in. And towards the end, there you go, I can finish it. And I was awarded with an Isoluna. Isoluna Hand Cannon is a Crucible drop. And I was finally able to get one. I've been playing Crucible here and there, but I haven't been able to get one. But I was awarded one once I turned that bounty in. And it's pretty much just got PvE perks, uh, which is not that bad. But it's definitely going to be a fun gun to use here and there. Now I'm just going to go ahead and cut to some live commentary of me decoding some engrams. So hope you guys enjoy. Alright, so here we go. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and open quite a few engrams that I've collected uh, over the weekend. Uh, I think I started collecting these around Friday or something like that. So real quick, I'm just going to go ahead and show you. I have uh, two exotic primaries, one exotic uh, special. I could have sworn I had a legendary heavy. Let me check real quick. Unless I open it. No, here we go. Legendary heavy. Ah, uh, yeah, that's about it. All right. Uh, let's see again. Two exotic primaries, one exotic special, legendary heavy. I have two exotic helmets, one legendary helmet, one exotic glove, three legendary gloves, four exotic or four legendary chest pieces, one legendary boots, pair of legendary boots I should say, and then the most uh, that was collected is the eight class items. So we're gonna go ahead and open all those up right now. Uh, Raul. These all better be 310s. Alright, I'm 303, just making sure. Should probably save some of these for hard mode or whatever, but it eh, doesn't matter to me. Just gonna go ahead and open up to make a nice, uh, quick ending to the video. We're gonna go ahead and open up the class items first. Uh, to the same ones. Not bad. Pretty cool. I'm opening up on my Warlock just so I can rank up my Warlock's, uh, Cryptarch level. Uh, quite a few of the same ones, but not too bad. Uh, Let's see, I'm gonna go with the boots now. Of course, I'm gonna level up. Get some blues. Uh, let's see. Oh, I wanna get rid of these blues as well. While I level all this up. So, looks much neater. Uh, I'm gonna go with the gloves now. Not too bad. I was wondering if I could uh, get an exotic out of these legendaries since there's so many. Uh, I would have figured it. There probably been a decent chance to at least get an exotic out of them, but uh, apparently not. Alright, so we'll just go ahead and take a look at what I've got so far. Uh, that's Dudu. Well, that's uh, actually really good rolls, but the Smoldry is a uh, kind of a Dudu rocket launcher, so I'm going to go ahead and delete that in a second. Just want to look at everything else. Uh, all these gloves. Hand cannon, increased grenade throw distance, pulse. This one's actually pretty good. Uh, that one's doo doo. These chest pieces are all probably doo doo. I'm never gonna use them. Just because I have this 310 chest of Yule. Uh, this I'm never gonna use either. I'm just gonna get rid of that now. Look at all these bonds. Uh, 295. I'm at 295 already. I was hoping to get something, uh, really high leveled, but apparently I got nothing out of that. And then I got two of these. I'm gonna go ahead and break them down later. I'm just gonna look at them later on in the video. <clears throat> or uh, when I'm done with this video. 
And for now, I'm gonna go ahead and start with the armor pieces. I'm gonna do the gloves. Possible machines. Let's see. I got it. 310. That is amazing. I'm gonna replace these since I bought these when Zer sold them first time. Which is really, really nice. Oh, now Lex. Let's go to the helmet now. Nemesis helmet. Hopefully this is close. And the Graviton forfeit. 310. 310? Jesus. Yo, that is luck right there, man. Alright. Now for the weapons. Uh, we'll do the specials. I only have one of them. Uh, Doo Doo Invective. I already have one of these at 310. It's 290. That one's getting trashed in a bit. And the last two uh, primary engrams. Zero's Regime. A supercell. I just ended up getting a Zalo supercell at 310 today from the Nightfall. Pretty much see that earlier in the clip. 310. 290. Well, I'm not complaining. At least I got the uh, series at 310. So I can replace the 291 that I have. So, not too bad. Pretty interesting uh, amount of loot that I did get and collect over the weekend. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much going to be the end of this video. Uh, just me showing all these engrams. And, uh, as well as the new Nightfall drops that uh, have been changed. There you have it, guys. Uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one.